Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my Smart American Accent Training. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce versatile two correct ways. So the first way is versatile. That's how I just said it the first time. And it's stressed on the first syllable, ver. So ver is long and subtle are short with reduced vowels. Versatile, versatile. In that version, letter A is vowel schwa, which sounds like a, uh, and we have almost no vowel here at the end. For the T, we do a flap sound, which is like a light D, versatile, subtle, subtle, um, because we have a reduced syllable after it, and so it's a dark L and a flap T together. This is the same thing that uh, we use in words like little um, or Seattle. Uh, and you can get more help for the flap T plus dark L in my videos for that, as well as in our Sounds of English course, where I walk you through the details of all of the Sounds of English, how different sounds are pronounced in different contexts. Um, that's a great way to get a strong foundation to understand sounds um, and to be able to put them into words. And you can check that out on our website, speechmodification.com. So in versatile, the first and most common way in American English is, again, with the um, the flap T and the dark L, versatile. Try that in a few phrases. Um, a versatile wardrobe, a versatile job. We need to have, uh, we need to be versatile for this uh, uh, application. The more typical British English way, and sometimes Americans will say this as well, um, is uh, to say versatile. And instead of having that flap T and that dark L, they actually say a true T and they have some secondary stress. So they use the clear vowel t uh, I like it's like the word tile, like it's spelled. So versatile one way and versatile, versatile. So because we have some secondary stress in this um, other version when we're using tile, um, versatile, then uh, we say a true T because when we have a T in the middle of the word and the syllable after it is stressed, for example, in um, hotel or guitar, then we use a true T rather than a flap T like in versatile in the first version. So if you prefer to say versatile, you can say that as well. I think it's more typical um, for American speakers to use this flap T and reduced L, um, but it may be easier for you to use versatile, in which case it's okay and correct as well. Thanks so much for watching this video, for your comments, uh, suggestions, requests. If you have a word you'd like to see me cover in the Word of the Day series, feel free to leave that in the comments below and I'll get back to you with a resource for you or add your word to my list to cover in a future class. I'll be back again tomorrow with another Word of the Day and Saturday we'll have our live question and answer class. I hope to see you there. You can also get more help for American English and British English differences in our playlist for American versus British English pronunciation. Check that out on our channel page at Speech Modification. Again, thanks for watching and for your support. I'm Christine Dunbar from SpeechModification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. SpeechModification.com. Bye everyone. Hope to see you again soon.